Get the stream? No, it's not 305, it's 3. No, it's 258. But it was 305 when it started. That was a strange place to start here. No, it start, started 305. Okay, so. You, you know, Paul, yesterday was my birthday. Really? And it's the second year in a row that you haven't wished me a happy birthday. Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> Did Noah wish you that birthday, happy birthday last year? So it's the second year in a row for him, too. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> happy birthday. I, I don't... You, you are very good at birthdays, Daniel. You are... Uh, you are very good at knowing anniversaries and birthdays. I bet your wife just loves your. I bet you are so good at that. I am terrible at that. I, I, yeah, so my apologies, but it's nothing personal. Happy birthday! What'd you do? I can't tell you because you didn't wish me a happy birthday. Oh, you're mad. Are you mad? So are, you, are, you, are, you, are you? Are you pouting? No, I'm not pouting. Last year I was pouting, and I'll be holding it in for one year. <laughs> and I wanted to see if you'll rectify the situation yesterday, and you haven't. But I'm, you gotta I'm, put it in your Google Calendar. That's what I do. Yeah, but I, I still, I, I've tried. I've tried to be that person, and then I just gave. I up mean, no, on being no that hard person. feelings. On your birthday, I created a video for you. I posted <laughs> it on social media. I made everyone wish you a happy birthday on our social yeah. media channels. You did. You did all that. That's true. I'll do it, I'll do it right now. I'll put his birthday in my Google calendar yesterday. See. Yesterday. Me too. I'm going to put it on my calendar. Every, people, I will make sure everybody puts it on their calendar too. All right. And then I have to put like reminders, like, uh, like a, a month in advance. I have to have reminders saying do something nice for Daniel's birthday. September 7th. Only three years. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not personal. It's it's. Uh, I I love you, Daniel. Wait, no, I think it's the third time. Because that's the yeah, you came. Now you're starting to rub it in. Now it's no. Getting, now you you've made it clear, and I'll I'll do I'll be better. Okay, this is the third time because this channel exists for two years and a half since April. So this is the third September. We're gonna start in seven seconds, and you'll need to wait for the Patreon thingy for a while because I'm going to make my coffee. Bye. All right, we have to see how it sounds good. All right. Well, hello, and welcome to Conversations with Curtis, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, this is Paul, and uh, today's Friday, and we're back with Ripper with Noah. He'll be out in just a couple minutes. Uh, got to play another round of Firewatch yesterday, sort of spur of the moment. And man, I'm really loving that game. I'm really, really loving it. So thanks for those of you who joined. Uh, it was a good good chat and uh, a good time. And in fact, I, I started a half hour late and I forgot that I started a half hour late. So when two o'clock rolled around, I thought I'd been going for two hours. And I'm like, man, this went by so quickly. And it went by quickly because it was only an hour and a half. And then I saw later on the YouTube channel that it was only an hour and a half. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's why I felt so quick. But um, yeah, it's fun. And then uh, Daniel played Dune. We'll talk to him about that in a minute. I, I didn't even know that there was a game uh, about of Dune. So sounds like a lot of people watched that. Uh, that seemed interesting to folks. So I think you had a lot. Of, I want to hear more about that. Um next week i'm out of town next week so we'll be doing some daniel's gonna do a speed run of phantas 2 i think and we'll do uh i think we have some interviews and such that we will post for y'all but i'll be out of town for work uh so no streaming for me but the week after that we'll be back so that's all i got i just want to bring everybody out and get started here so let's start for now by uh just recognizing and saying Thanks to our Patreon members for joining us, for being part of our, Daniel might be still getting coffee. So if he is, 
I can't see the he he could there we go. There we go. Uh these are our Patreon uh folks. Thank you for our ten uh dollars and above monthly members, Patreon and Coffee. I want to thank them very much for their support. Uh I said this yesterday and I'll say it today as well. You know, we've lost some people and that happens and that's that's normal. There's a flow and all that, but we did lose uh, uh we've dipped a bit this past month. Um to the point that we would love to get back to where uh, something a little more comfortable. So if you are in a position to join us on Patreon or coffee, uh, we would sure appreciate that. If you could just join for a little while, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, in perpetuity, but if you can join for a bit, uh, it would sure be, be helpful and help Daniel and I continue to bring this, uh, this content to you. Uh, if you can't join us uh, on a monthly basis, you can always give a one-time donation through coffee.com, uh, and we will recognize you if you become one of our top donors. That is my cue. There we go. And these are our top donors over the past 30 days. James Jenkins, Joex, CJ, Ray, Koopa, Fungi Plays, Within War, and Brain of CJP. These guys have been super generous uh, over these past 30 days. And thank you so much for that. We are well below our weekly goal. Um, if we can get to our weekly goal by the end of today, we'll give away some games and uh, we would love your support. Enough of that for now. Let's uh, let's bring on yesterday's birthday boy, our, our good pal. There he is, Daniel Albu. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> mad. He's still pouting. Oh man. Happy birthday, Daniel. Thank you. I, I I brought a bunch of guests along. They're all they're all here. I I, I invited well, them to they've, come. They've all been with me on Wednesday when I was streaming Doom. Because don't, I streamed don't minimize Doom. all the work I just did to get all these people here to join you. I was I, it was a lot of effort. Because over here um I started the live stream at 10 p.m. on September 6th, and it ended on September 7th. So they were all here all with right, me. Well. How, how are you how doing, is, Paul? I'm doing good. How was good. your was week? Doing, it was, uh, well, a lot going on, but it was good. Uh, uh, yeah, this is it's good. I, I was busy ignoring your birthday. That's that's how uh, bu busy I was. Um but anyway, tell me about Dune. How was that? Dune was awesome. I, I love Dune. I um, For me, Dune is... I, I found out about Dune the same time I found out about uh, Phantasmagoria because like I uh, told people in the live stream, um, I bought a computer magazine back in October of 1995 and they gave away Dune as a free CD. And that's when I found out about the game. And in that particular magazine, they also talked about Phantasmagoria 1. So for me, Dune oh, wow. and, 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 and Phantasmagoria are interlinked. Interesting. Is it a good game? It is. It's a mm -hmm. part adventure, part strategy. Um, very well. Uh, it contains FMV scenes from oh, the movie Dune by David oh, wow. Lynch. So Cool. Um, okay, well, this is a Friday. We've got our, our special guest. Let's not leave him uh, hanging in the lurch mm -hmm, anymore. Let's mm -hmm. bring out our friend Noah. There he is. What's up? Have you played Dune? I have, actually. I played a, there's a bunch of Dune games, but I think the one you're talking about is the one that involves a lot of flying around in an ornithopter. Yeah. The, the mm -hmm. helicopter looking for caves. The first one. Yeah, I remember looking for caves a lot in that game. Sieges, yeah. Sieges, yes. Sieges. That's their word for caves. They can't just yeah. use the word caves. That's the Fremen word. Yeah. Where they store their water. Uh, gotcha. Their steel suit that they pee inside and then they drink it. Because there's no water on Dune. Uh -huh. There's see. a lot of filters, but uh <laughs> How are you, do? Noah? Doing okay, doing all right. It's Good. uh still hot here but we're we're surviving yeah yeah what, what uh what's it what has it been the last couple of days we still know oh it's at least 120 degrees you know it's uh seriously it's 120 oh yeah 
Dang, dang, Daniel, what's yours? Like about the same. No, I think it's a hundred. I think it's a hundred. Oh, so nothing, nothing. Yeah. You guys, uh, Seattle right now? I don't know. I'm afraid to tell you because it's just so pleasant. Is I hear it rains in Seattle. Is that it's, true? That's <laughs> sunny and 66, and the high will be 71 today, and it could uh. be more pleasant. <laughs> you. you know, I never, I never experienced fall. For me, it's summer, summer two, summer three, five days of rain, and summer one again. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in Southern California, and I had, I, I, I needed to get out. I the the sameness of the, you know, of never experiencing seasons just drove me crazy. And then, then I went to the east coast for a little while that was a little too extreme so seattle has, has actually worked out perfectly for me although everything's changing so much um you know you're just not getting the rain we used to get anyways blah 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 um i, I did want to say that the three of us were talking just a little bit and i'll be curious if the chat has uh thoughts about this um just about the creative process and about how to get to uh we we're just talking about ways to to trick yourself into getting work done and when you don't want to, when, you know, when you've got other things going on and uh, I guess there's a, I've been doing something that I guess is uh, an actual process that I never heard about where you just try to give yourself a, a defined amount of time, just a short amount of time where you're like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to dive into this thing for 10, 15 minutes and that's all, but I've, I've got to do that and then see if that, you know, gets things going. What's the name of that thing, D Daniel? Pomodoro. What is that, Pomodoro? It's a technique in which you work for, you focus on one task for 15 minutes, and then you take a five minute break. And in those 15 minutes, you can't work on anything else. And the idea behind it is that if anything comes up in those 15 minutes, you can always tell yourself that you'll handle it in 15 minutes. So nothing is that urgent. Right. So we can focus on that one task, but you I still need to, to be disciplined. So I, I just try to turn like I try to like close my email. I try to close the, the mess all the all the distracting apps that are on my computer, I try to close those down for a little bit. Or and I'll try to when I get up in the morning, the thing that I want to work on, I'll make sure that that is predominantly displayed the first thing I see. So maybe it gets me my interest gets peaked and I wanna I wanna just well, first of all, you bit. have focus modes on your Mac and on your iPhone in which you can shut down notifications from various applications. So you can activate focus mode at work or whatever, according to the time of day. And there is also an interesting app that I've been using called a forest in which you, you actually grow a virtual tree. So for example, you grow a virtual tree on your uh, iPhone. You start the app, it has to run, it has to be the, the, the app in the foreground. So you can't switch to any other app. So you can't use your phone. So for example, you set it up to, um, to plant a tree for 30 minutes. And if you leave that app, then the tree dies. So if you, you feel bad for the tree. So you don't, you don't leave the app. So you don't That's use your phone much. for, for three, 30 minutes. And then I'm you just, become attached to some virtual watching trees. The tree grow. Does it know when you're when you're not when you're not working? Is it does it start to wilt if you're not actually doing the the work you're supposed to be doing? No. Or the, could the you tree, just the tree dies the tree if you switch to a different app? Oh, I see. I see. So it yeah, just well. forces you to keep that app open. Yeah. So that's why. Exactly. Well, it's the, the the main thing is it's hard to stay focused and do the thing that you want to do, but but. Uh, there are tricks and all that. Okay, enough. Anything else we need that, to talk about? That, that's why we love going to the theater so much because in the theater, you, it's some. It's I think it's the only place where you can stay focused on one thing without actually doing any other thing because the movie will keep going. If you go to yeah. the bathroom or if you look at your phone, nothing pauses the movie. So you have to... Stay focused. And live streams are the same. You also talked about that, that you have a pause, you have a break in your day in which everything yeah. else pauses for two hours and then 
life goes on. Yeah, I on. like that. And it's funny, it's like just before the stream, I mean, I'm, I've got a bunch of stuff going on right now and I'm a little overwhelmed by everything. And I'm like, I don't have time to do this. I am, I, I really, I, ah. and then I get here and it's like, it, it's actually a really nice, I definitely do have time and I can, I can take a little break from that other stuff. This is a riveting conversation, isn't it? Are we, is I this, think so. is this, Okay. All right. <laughs> I think in, in, in the next episode of Conversations with Cur Curtis, we're going to talk about crypto and we're going to be crypto dudes. <laughs> All right. So where are we in Ripper? How far are we in Ripper? Who knows? And, uh, and will we, we are one third of the way through Ripper. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> we're only one third of the way. Really? Yeah, because we're, we're in Act 2. Okay. All right. And uh, um, how do you know this? Did you do a little uh, research on where we are and where we're going? Well, I know there's three acts, and we're, okay. we're uh, that's yeah. I did a little research, but uh, I know where we are. I know how to progress. I know we were stuck just when we quit last time. We had just gotten kind of stuck, but I figured out where to go. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I mean. This game is pretty misleading because we switched to CD4, four out of six. How come yeah, we're seems, a third? Yeah. Good point. We're supposed to be like halfway through at least. Hmm. See, we're and CD4. we got a switch already. <laughs> Back to this three? All right, I'm going to... Really... Uh, and in, in, since uh, people in the chat are are, uh, are concerned that we're going to talk about crypto, we're never going to talk about crypto. Ever. Don't worry. Um, let's see. No. CD3, you say? Continue. Okay, okay, so check the on the left here. There should be like a, a magnifying glass. Check that. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. Is the sound okay? Yeah. It's pretty good on my end, yeah. Okay, there's a card there you can take. Scan card. Use or done? No, just done. Okay. Now go to the police station. Okay. Hopefully there's no CD switch. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Talk to the desk sergeant, or uh, go to the desk sergeant, and on his right, there's another card. What? How are we supposed to know all of that? You weren't. Okay. Now, why you're able to look on the, that little tray there? Yeah. Oh, there are two oh. things here. Wait. There, there's another card. I, I don't know, but I think you just have it now. Why you're able to take that from right under his nose, literally from under his nose? Yeah, he's I don't looking know. straight at it. Okay. Uh, but now there's a room in here you can go into. Uh, if you turn around, you remember where the interrogation room was, where you saw Magnata beating? Yeah, up yeah, there? yeah. It doesn't matter if I know where the interrogation room is. The question is if I know how to get there using this stupid navigation. Yeah. I think you turn left. You know, I think this is my new favorite way of playing a game like this, is just having someone tell us everything. Because you're not going to find it. I mean, if you're playing by yourself, it makes one, it makes, it, that's one thing. But, but it's really entertaining to know that those two cards were there that we never would have found on our own. I've, I've really enjoyed that. Well, this is how you and I play games. Turn, oh. um, no, no, don't go to the interrogation sorry. room. There's a... Uh... Wait, is this the interrogation room? There's another room near here that is like that has like a file cabinet in it that you have to go to. I think it's straight ahead. Like, look, yeah, go straight ahead. Oh, nice. Hey, this thing. How much, how much clearance do we have here? How do we get? How are we walking around? We are floor? not where we're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Caution! Should... Automatic door. Should they go straight ahead? Yeah. Nice. There's some stuff on the floor to pick up. Uh, 
It's just a bunch of red herrings. Wait, yeah, now so we just mess with. We have to open the cabinet. It's all coming back to me now. You know, it's, it's all coming, coming back, back to me, to me now, it? written in a document on my screen. What's, Actually, what's I'm coming? not looking at a document right now. I swear. Right. Okay. What's coming back to me is the is what the, else? The soundtrack. Uh, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now there's a there's a cabinet right in front of you that you got to open. Yeah. This one. Files are locked. Looks like I need some kind of ID card to open them. I think we've got one. Now what? Okay, now we go to the go to the top of the screen. The inventory. The inventory. Yeah. Inventory. Okay. And use. And I don't know which I don't know which one it is, but yeah. You cannot uh, use this object here. Okay. It's one of them. Wait. That's it. I get this pop up, and then the game is game, stuck. Game over. What the crap? Get done. Escape doesn't work. There Enter we go. works. Oh, look ah. at that. He and I share the. Who used their key card better? Uh, Curtis Craig or what's this hmm. guy's name? Uh, Quinlan. Quinlan. Could make for interesting. Quinlan reading. or Craig? Fatality. Vincent, Mc... Vincent McDonough, date of birth, July 24th. Hmm. Day after me. Mm hmm. You see, someone knows their birthday. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> July 24th, 1997. Um, Houston Street Detective Single, highest level. Tech rating. This guy's a moron. Now, the, one thing we're supposed to, the one thing we're supposed to take away from this is at the very bottom it says access file name Slayer. You see that? Oh, is that something we just need to keep in mind for later? Uh, keep in mind for now. Um, okay. So, okay, we can close this. Okay. Now go to your computer. The uh, on the top of the screen. Go to my com my desk. No, 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 no. Go to the very top of the screen. Oh, the that bar. computer. Go to my laptop. Yes, okay. your laptop. Uh, then go to note database, I think, and electronic journal, and we need a key to decrypt the the thing and it's Slayer. You got it. Nice. Like his namesake, he eviscerates and brags about it in crazed letters to the public. Like his namesake, he holds a city in terror. The police are helpless yeah, to yeah, stop wait, wait. him. You gotta read it in uh, Christopher Walken's voice. Uh, I can't. Like his you, namesake, you... he holds a city in terror. The police are helpless to stop him. He strikes without warning. Vanishes without a trace. I suspect the wait. No, this is Catherine. I'm sorry. No, it's. Oh, I like it though. Keep going. Keep going, Vulcan. I suspect the rip is one of three people: Vincent McNata, <laughs> the lead detective in the case; Claire Burton, the medicock cyber surgeon; or Joy Falconetti, a legendary desk cowboy with a criminal past. I must investigate these three. Learn anything I can about them. All right, Claire Burton, Magnata, and K Falconetti. And there's more. I think you can scroll down. I, I think we should add a patch to Ripper, having Noah read this in Christopher Walken's voice. Just a patch. Okay. Yeah. So now that we have this useless information... There's more. You can scroll down, I think. There's more to read. Yeah, Cult Classic Corner wants to know where he can buy the uh, soundtrack on vinyl. I, I agree. It would just be a, it was a perfect kind of thing to work to all day. You a could like use your vinyl. type with your keyboard with a. Dun, dun. While in Burton's office, I notice an old college text called Advanced Notational Mapping. There's an inscription inside. It's a slim chance, but it could be a lead. <laughs> So delivered as promised. I can learn even more about Magnata, Burton, and Falconetti if I dare. I've taken measures to hide what soap delivered. Using the book, The Women of Wit Chapel and Jack the Ripper seems appropriate. If everything works out, I'll be rich over this. At first, I didn't have two nickels to rub together. <laughs> I lived in a ratty triplex for half a dozen years. That will never happen to me a second time. Oh, but we have this last little... Now, this Second. last bit won't decrypt. I know that. Um, 
I don't know why. I guess we need another code or something. What now, is this game? As, okay, as now for we're... the... You remember the... Um, in Catherine's apartment? Okay. Uh, we have to Should go I go Catherine's there? Apartment. Yeah. Okay. If there's this a CD switch, I'm rage quitting. God damn it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Somebody gave us a little something. Thank you uh, for your donation. We will read that uh, at the end of the stream and share your thoughts and comments. <laughs> if you. Ripper. Which CD? Four. Four. I, I don't quite get what you're doing. You, you don't have a. You have to. What do you have to do? You don't have a real I, CD. I, I have a virtual CD drive, which I virtually eject and virtually insert a CD-ROM image. And then oh, we gotta, virtually... You got to show it. Yeah, at some point you have to make a little clip of that. I need to see what that looks like. Not that intriguing. Okay, we're in Catherine's apartment. Now what? Okay, now there's at the very back of the apartment, there's a book that you were looking into that had like a combination save oh, on yeah. it. Oh, yeah. That this I don't know book. the combination to. I don't know how to even get to that, but uh, I'll, I'll it'll come to me. I mean, if the Phantasmagoria games had anything going for them, is the fact that don't switch CDs just randomly. Switch CDs at the end of the chapter. Okay, I know it's in the journal. Um... It's the USS Enterprise. Jeez, that's a heck of a book. Uh, go back to the journal. I know it's. I know the solution is in the journal. This, my journal. Yeah, the the journal we just decrypted. All west. Okay. <laughs> Wet ass computer. Whack. Whack. Um. No. no journal. Yeah. Okay. Go to the go to the bottom. The part we could read. Okay. At first, I didn't have two nickels to rub together. Mark Murphy. To... Okay. So the, Murphy? we we have to get numbers out of the out of the um. Oh my God, more. Oh, hey, thank you, Mark. That's very you, Mark. very generous. And we will uh, we'll read your comment in a little bit. Okay, so we have to get numbers out of this journal, um, and it's hidden. So it's at first I didn't have two nickels to rub together. I triplex, in triplex, half a, half a dozen. So years. two, three, six, and two second time. No, no, no. It's I didn't have two nickels, so it's five. It's a uh, so it's one, five, five, three, six, two. What? I didn't have two nickels. Okay. I didn't have two nickels, so I had one. And ratty triplex for half a dozen years. So where's the five where's coming the five? from? The nickels. Two nickels, five five. Okay, so I didn't have two, which meant I had one, so that was the one. The two nickels Nickel. are five five. Mm -hmm. And then it's six and then two. And and how wait one no. five five. What about the six. triplex? Oh, the triplex three. three. One five five three six two. And 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 wait a minute. I'm so lost at this point. So why? W what point do we come across something that we have to come back to this and and use this? How do we get to this? You, How did I figure this out? Well, no, no, no. What I mean is, if we're playing the game, you're playing the game for the first time by yourself. What what does this game? How does this? The, how does the game want us to come across? this solution uh by sheer dumb luck determination well That's somebody had to do it no, I, I guess I'm, I'm not being clear so no, I'm, I'm, I'm not being i'm not being funny i'm, I'm the determination you just gotta but what try was everything. the uh what was the clue that we were given that made us go oh we this have is, to have this is the clue because it tells you using the book of the women of witch chapel which is the book we currently opened. 
that's it. The end. And Jack the Ripper seems appropriate. If everything works out, I'll be. Man, but, but that was you, the third one. Usually, down. usually, what happened in these games? You just try everything, and then <sighs> when you reach the solution, you try to reverse engineer the the way you were supposed to get the hints. Just like with the monkey wrench in Monkey Island 2. I just tried everything on my inventory, on everything uh, on screen, and then I, I found out about the monkey wrench, and then I figured that probably because it was a monkey and it's a wrench, and whatever. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, you guys are being super generous today. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh, it's so weird to have these widgets come up with me wearing the same shirt that I was wearing at the time. Finding that Dude, out. this is like three I years ago. I know. <laughs> Okay. Let's give it a try. Well, it says Paul West. It doesn't say Wit Chapel. Is that the Wit Chapel of the, the title up, up at the top? One, I always... one, one, five, five. Wait, this is one? That's one. Five, five. That's six. <laughs> where where do you... Uh, one, two, you three, delete? four. Oh, okay. Bye. I don't see the title of the book. Oh, there it is. The Women the of women. Book. Well, in my old age, counting is difficult. One, five, five, three, three, what? Hey, another, thank you. Uh, three, six, two? Yeah. You oh, snap -o. Ba, 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 ba. I hope it's not a I disc grab... swap. Nope. But you got to go to the computer in the apartment. Bon. Put the disc in. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, in Monkey Island 2, Ron Gilbert deliberately made it so that every solution to every puzzle required you to go through all three islands in the tri island area and that's it that was done to artificially lengthen the game but over here you know over there it was kind of nice but with He's this like navigation safe. it's pure torture you gotta go to the computer in the apartment no no in no, no, this no in the apartment in this, yeah, apartment? In this apartment yeah It's over here, but I know it it would require me to walk like 15 steps to the right and then 16 steps to the left and then do a 360. You were just trying to go to the right and that's what we're doing. That's what it's... We have to go to the left to get to the right. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, oh, 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 okay. teachable, teachable moment in there. To go right, you have to go to the so, left. So now I, I need to use the inventory, right? Not the wet -ass computer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at Daniel figuring stuff out without Noah telling him. A second time. Oh my god, they're playing Ripper. <laughs> oh, come on. Six. Good with numbers. This algebra is stupid. Wow, you guys are getting us close to our goal here. This is pretty impressive. Okay, so now you had to remember that. What? And we we have to you have to remember that formula. So okay. save the game. <laughs> Wait, I'll take a screenshot. Where's my phone? You have to afford to go back. Better press on. Can't what do you think was any good with numbers? Okay. Now we don't have to actually calculate that. But what there is, is in the newsroom, there's a calculator on Catherine's desk. Oh, come on. On Catherine's so we have desk? To go... This one? This is? Yes. This... Okay. But I need but to we take... Have to go to the middle... We have to go to the middle of the room and then turn around and go to Catherine's desk. <laughs> you got to go forward to go back, Daniel. One step forward. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's the thingy. Okay. 
this so thing? Drugged. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Did this game sell well? Was it well reviewed? Was <laughs> it? Uh, was it a? <laughs> why? Why does it exist? Okay. Now you have to click the on button. Wait. Let me watch my photo first. Wow. Then you have to type the formula that was on the screen into the calculator. Forty-six x. No, it's not this x. Okay, forty-six x squared. Okay. Divide it. What? Forty-six x squared times two. I'm sorry. Divided by seven. Divided by seven. Forget, forget I said that. Forget, forget, forget I said anything. Start over. <laughs> no, I see. It's 46 and then X squared. X squared. Yeah. So it's 2116. Like the and, wonderer. And divided by. Okay. Yeah. Seven. Thank you so much, YT Wonderer. I stopped watching the game. I'm just looking Equals, at the chat. I think it says five. I think you have to hit five. No, wait. I think you should do seven I and V. Does it do anything? No. You have to type the formula. You have to type it exactly as it was in the on, on the screen. Okay, so it's 46 X2 divided by seven I and V equals this number. Five. No, you gotta go. Then you say five. Just, just click the letter. Click the number five. Lift Falcon. Thank you very okay. much. And then, uh, if you type the if you type the formula exactly, it should come up right. I don't, I, I don't know what the picture is. Um, seven, I and V <laughs> equals game. five. Okay, there it is. Pretty clever. Whoa, we got an eyeball. You won an eyeball. Okay. Um, okay. Now, what these are? These are audio bugs that Catherine would use to cl click the other thing. Way to get the other thing. No, the, the yeah. Done. Shoestring wrote VA wrote. I wasn't here last time. Did we ever deck into Catherine's vegetable brain? We did. We did. We hung yes. out. We hung out in her brain last week. Okay. Now we have to put the audio bugs. On... Okay, there's more. We we didn't oh, yeah. win. No, we didn't win yet. <laughs> we have to go back to the police station and go to Magnata's office. Of course we do. That's wait, the first wait. thing I was going to suggest. So police station? Yeah. Oh, you know you could have gone straight to his I'm office? sorry. I feel bad whenever there's a disc swap. No, I don't. I love it. I think it's... it's uh... Watching Daniel get frustrated is one of my favorite things of all time. Turn to I didn't. The right. I don't like him moping that I don't remember his birthday, but getting frustrated is way more fun. Ah, see, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, go right here or turn back? We gotta go back to the hallway. Okay. Okay, now turn I mean, left. we've we've been so turn left. Okay. We've been working together for two and a half years. Oh. You, you never wondered, hey, doesn't Daddy have a birthday? I barely remember my somewhere? kids' birthdays. I, yeah, Turn I, left I, again. Every day is a day to celebrate. I celebrate you regularly. I I, I don't feel a need to to adhere to the prescribed <laughs> notions of celebrating people's birthdays. Don't need to adhere to the layman's dates of a uh, birthday. Okay, what now? Go to the cigars. I was. Wasn't there another? We tried to get a cigar from someone recently. Now you got to use one of the audio bugs on the cigars. Can I shove the knife inside Quinlan? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's heading towards me. Okay, use bug. Magnata will never even notice the bug is there. Yeah, because it's not the same. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's not the same at all. 
Why would he, of course he would notice. It's white. Instead of placing it beneath oh, the hilarious. cigars, he's placing it on a cigar. Make it, and the first cigar that he'll probably take, uh, meaning that the bug will find its way to the trash can in no time. Okay, now we got to go to the hospital. What? Do you remember that movie, um, Kentucky Fried movie? Does anybody yes. remember this? There's a great scene. I can't believe I haven't thought of this in years and years. Where Rebecca Center? Forgot, yeah. Where I forgot where, uh, like, the main character noticed he, he somebody else comes into the room and he goes shh and he shows he, he points at like what looks like a little microphone and then he re they realize they're being bugged and then they walk a little farther and then he he points at what is a little bit more uh, of a microphone that's a little more uh, obvious and then they go in another one and then there's a big microphone right in the corner and then they go to another room and there's a guy just standing there with a boom mic you know it's like it just becomes more and more obvious as they are trying to now what all right uh, we go go to the top floor go to the wards wards and all and we have to go to dr marion's office <laughs> dr marion Which I believe is, as we exit here, I believe it's on the left this time. Nope, no left. We'll go forward a little bit. We were here before, right? We went the other way, though. Yeah. I remember things. Now what? Keep going. Just, are they trying to make it seem like this is how he's he's just looking one way or the yeah, other as he yeah walking? who's walking this way? Turn to the right. You can. Are those like? Oh, that's the mopping locked. It's a mop. Damn. How am I supposed to open this? I'll okay, bet you we know. We have a we have a card that should open it. Wet ass inventory. Uh, nope. Oh shit. That should have worked. Oh uh, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, did you use the second card down? I didn't see it. I don't yep. think you did. I did. Drat. Oh, maybe I need to look at it and then use. Uh... See? His hand didn't go down and do the thing. Come on. And yeah, no budget. Okay, now what? <laughs> Guess we go in. I, so, I can't go in. I need to go back and then go in. Yeah, I guess. Yep. This game is stupid. Dang! Look at this like nice office and this weird little. Well, I guess it's not that nice. Is that a window? Open the blinds. Let, let's I, do that first. Let's open I, the blinds and let's let some air. Let's let some sunlight. I in. want to interview every person who worked yeah. on this game. Okay, now what? I was trying to open the uh, blinds, but now I'm uh, I, looking at the desk for some reason. Now we scan the stuff on the desk. Object scanned into database. Dr. Burton's prescription pad. Object scanned into database. Okay, now there's some place we got to put that eyeball in here. I'm not sure where. There's like a model, like an anatomical model on the desk somewhere. Um, I forgot we have an eyeball. Oh, th this guy. Boy, those, that furniture reminds me of... Some apartments I used to live in. Anatomical eyeball. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's a vase. Stapler. Sharpies. Are those Sharpies? Did they have Sharpies back in 96? Uh... 
Uh, this is weird. There should be something to put the eyeball in here. Go over to the, go over to the bookshelf. I can't. I need to do a 360 <laughs> to get to the shelf. Anyway, I'll get every uh, every one of the developers who worked on the game and writers and directors to apologize exclusively on conversations with Curtis. Let's do it. Starting with the composer. Yeah. The, the interview will start this way. I want us to listen to three seconds from your track, from your three second track called Switch CDs. <laughs> Okay, I can't use I can't use anything here. Oh wait, I know. I'll use the You do? I thought I did. Oh, there's the thing. Yeah, there's the guy. There's the you put the eyeball on that on that dummy guy there, yeah. Daniel Noah's done all he can to help you at this point. You're okay, now turn right. Okay. This is crap. Oh, that is crap. Wow. I mean, this is how adventure games should be rated. If you can't reach the solution of a puzzle with a walkthrough open, then the game is crap. A walkthrough open of someone who's played the game and done a actual video of it, and we still can't do it. Wait, he's already got an eyeball. He doesn't need one. What's a cyber surgeon need with an anatomy model? We're gonna switch it. This question will never be answered. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe I need to remove an eyeball first. This makes sense. There you go. Okay. Now I have the eyeball. Now I'm gonna use the button. There nicely. Hey, there you go. That's some gaming. That's some gaming logic. Yes. That worked out. Very specifically shaped audio bug that Catherine had. Yeah. There. Yeah, well done. Okay, now what? Okay, now there was the book that was mentioned in the journal. We have to find the book that's in here. I this think one? That's it. Yeah. A copy of Advanced Notional Modeling. Okay, we found it. Now can I shove the knife in Quinlan? Claire Burton, happy travels in cyberspace. Lillian, back. When did cyberspace become coined? What was that phrase? Probably uh, around the time Lawnmower Man was released. Probably 1993, 1992. Lillian Beck. Now I think we can visit her office. I think I think we can leave here. Save first. No save. We haven't Wait. done that once today. You guys are terrible. Wait, should we go to the university? No, save. You have to go somewhere first and then save? Yeah. Or should I cl click power? Yeah, click power, oh, yeah. Okay. Save. Great game one. Neuromancer says Briarwood. That's when it was coined. University. Oh! Damn you. Damn you, CD ROM drive. Man, I don't know. I, I just don't know how he got away with this, this music for the whole game. The, and that the producer said, yeah, yeah, this is going to work. This, this this is continue. great. It's gonna cost how much? Oh, that's great. <laughs> can, you, can you give me three seconds of that track? It would be great if we we looked him up and listened to all of his other you know com compositions, and they were exactly the I, same. I mean, we did a listening party with Gary Spinrad of the one hour oh, soundtrack of Phantasmagoria 2. Listening party of <laughs> if we'll do one with uh, the composer of this game, then it will be a five second listening party. Okay, now yeah, what? We got a whole new track here. Don't, don't poo poo this new track. Oh. There's actually oh, something yeah. going on here. Yeah, there is something happening here. This is an interesting angle. Oh, I missed the droning drums. I'll hey, you in my office tomorrow with your work completed, Mr. Wendell. 
Good day, Mr. Wendell. Yes. yes. Excuse me, Professor Beck. I'm a reporter for the Virtual Herald. You have a few minutes? That's how many I have exactly, a few. What can hmm. I do for you? Wait, who's that? That's the person Ask who gave Barry in the book. Ask her if she right. remembers a student named Claire Burton. Do you Burton. remember a student of yours named Claire Burton? The, name. the only student I ever encouraged to leave school. Why do you ask? Did you advise the student to leave school? Frankly, this place had nothing to offer her. It was my feeling that it could have even restricted her development. But I repeat, why do you ask? Well, she's, um, she's taking care of a friend of mine. And some of her colleagues think that her treatment is a bit unorthodox. <laughs> I have no doubt it is. She wouldn't look at things the way most surgeons do. It's what makes her so creative, so innovative. She seems a bit weird about it. Oh, she's quirky, all right. I certainly remember that about her. Some very unusual predilections indeed, but that's often a mark of genius. Unless Claire has changed drastically in the years since I've seen her, you have no need for concern. Well, thanks. What's that character's name? Quinlan. A man named no, 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 the gal. Oh, of Professor Beck. No, Professor but Beck. I remember him well. He was an astonishing cyber surfer. But he was more interested in pretty assistance than in any genuine original thought. Did he have a, um, affiliation with Claire Burt? By affiliation, I assume you mean did she have an affair with him? I couldn't say. She may well have found his air of danger sexually appealing, and she was certainly aggressive intellectually. I'm sure she went after him to challenge his skills, see if she could prove herself superior. Who knows? The web I think she might be reading a cue card. Her idea. The what? The web I think they're all the gaming reading cue cards. It was cutting edge. Claire and Falconetti were among the founding members. In fact, when she left school, Claire seemed to do little else. She virtually disappeared. Does this club still exist? I mean, where can I find them? Oh, they're like children with a secret clubhouse. All I know is that they post notice of their meetings on the bulletin board out in the hallway. They usually encode the information, however, hiding it amongst the flyers and announcements posted there. Encoded, of course it is. Arranging those flyers in the proper order will form a sentence revealing where and when the runners plan to meet. Phyllis Bosch, her name is. Never. Do you know anything about a policeman named Vince Magnata? Claire used to mention him. Apparently, he had quite a temper. I mean, the sound mixing so is it. crap, just like every other FMV game around the same time. So we gotta go... There's a bulletin board outside we gotta go find. Outside? Okay. Babe writes, Sorry, ma'am, I can't hear you. The drummer is being too loud. We just like the naked gun. We'll see the drummer on the right or on the left playing. <laughs> Okay, I probably need to go straight ahead and then walk to the right in order to get to the yes. left. Okay. So the location of the Webrunner's loft is hidden somewhere on this board. What? Okay, attention runners. Okay, gearing up for what? Gearing up, wait, go back to that one. Gearing up for, no, one more. Gearing up for 2041, or 204. 2041? Okay. The staff of the NYU. Okay, as I recall, you can drag the, uh, you can drag the flyers around a little bit. Drag them, oh. Yeah. So you have to put them in a specific order, I think, at the bottom of the screen. But well, right now you could. There's A D. Okay. You, you want to do it uh, alphabetically, so it's A D K V. No, it's probably according to dates or something. Now the this I don't know. Um... Try alphabetically. So attention is the, is A. Is the first one. Which I think you have. This what's one? the next? Okay. How and am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to place them in order at the bottom of the screen? 
How is this it game has to do, I know it has to do with the numbers at the bottom. This number is obscured by something. Is there only... Like, if it doesn't have a number on the bottom, that's not part of it. Okay, this one, for info, email astro86. They didn't have domain names in 2041, apparently. Ask for Paco. Wait, so the solution for this crap is not listed in the walkthrough? I can give you the solution if you want me to open the walkthrough. No, 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 no. no. Don't give me the solution. Because this one makes sense. Yeah. Learn, grow, make a difference, be a Vista volunteer, help to rebuild the Warrens, provide an alternative to gang life, earn money for college, add your resume. Well, so the thing... What... Where are they supposed to end up though? Like, you know, so you have the down, you have, you, you can move them down below there, but they're not going to, it's not like it, there's going to be gaps. Is it, you want to get a certain amount down below and then those four or five will add up to something? Yeah. There's, okay. There's Open the walkthrough. Okay. I got it. Okay. You know, I'm sure it's a, it's riveting watch when we're trying to solve a puzzle, but when the find puzzle the doesn't flyers, make Find the yeah. five flyers that have a number on the last line of text, not the one with the phone number, though. Okay, this one has a number. This one has a number, a number and the 14. rest of the number is obscured. This one has not a number. Not the phone number, not the phone number, he said. Not the phone number, just numbers? Yeah. This one has a number. Okay, so this one has number, number. Doesn't have a number. This one has a number. No. Okay. Phone number. No. no. Yeah, Astro yeah, 86. Okay. Boom. Something Boom what? Okay. Is happen. <laughs> okay, so now there's a specific order, but I don't know what that order is. All right, let's look. But I can tell what? you if you want. Um, Astro Festival. The first one is four. S. First, okay. First one is four. We don't. Okay, Festival four. Okay, maybe. Okay, so eighty-six, forty-two, fifty. Okay, so forty-two, then fifty, then eighty-six, then fourteen, right? Four, fourteen, yeah. forty-two, fifty, eighty-six. Okay, nothing is happening. Okay. Okay, now the answer is 4, 50, 14. <laughs> why? <But> why? <laughs> I don't know. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got what? <laughs> we got it. Are you are you having flashbacks, Noah, from uh, from your your day? This one this? I don't know. I don't know how this one I solved. Uh, <laughs> Okay. This was before walkthroughs, though. I know that. I know, oh. Somehow I did it. My gosh, man. What's the most obscure uh, puzzle or... This one. This might be it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, let me finish my, my question. Okay, In okay. the last year or so of games that you've played, not old... They could be old games, but new games to you. What's the one that just gave you fits? This one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this one probably would top the list. Um... I haven't played that many adventure games in recent in recent okay. times, so it's not many. Um, okay. Okay. Now, now that we know the solution, what's the logic behind the solution? That I, I don't know. What uh, did we let, learn? Let, let, let me see. There's a. I don't know. The walker doesn't even say. The walking through. Maybe they don't even know it. Okay. Now what? We have to leave here and go to the web runner's loft. Because of reasons. Because we know go. the address somehow. 
Maybe that the was the good, puzzle. I like how quickly you can get to a different place. That's good. Okay, now do you remember the number that you uh that we arranged? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was 450 and then other stuff. 14 14 42 86 We got another What person. the hell is this? Wow. This game is great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We had someone else doing yoga earlier, right? Oh, she's doing virtual reality. She doesn't even... Boo. <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? <sighs> she dropped an F-bomb. Doing the Custer Sim, and I was the only Korean Indian, and I had Goldilocks by the throat. This won't take too long, honey. I just need to ask you a few questions. Make an appointment with my secretary. I'm going to tell you what I've been going through lately. I got to say, this game is I remarkably diverse. For uh, I'm ruining my shine by walking through his victims' guts. Six. My girlfriend's in a coma, and the next time the Ripper kills, it could possibly be yours truly. So fuck your cartoons. Ooh, got that. He got to act there. He got some acting Fine. moments. Now, let's talk. She's not a happy. Named Claire Burton. Used to be a runner. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. I mean, I don't know her. I know who she is or who she was. She was one of the first. Proto runner. We care about our history, man. You've got to know where you've been to know where you're going. Hey, we were talking about that earlier. This game is all so, about... So, what do you know about her? I just know who she is. I've seen her pictures hanging on the walls in here. You can see them yourself. She looked right at the camera there. <laughs> do you know anything about a guy I mean, like, named right at Mark it. Every at, at this point in time, it doesn't matter. He's a legend on heels. Before he was a runner, he fractured with a gang called Error 33. I mean, even if they stop their conversation and just look at the camera and tell us, we know this game is crap, we're sorry about that, and then keep on talking, I'll be fine with that. Took out the credit record of every adult on the East Coast. Cops never got him. They say he's still out there, waiting to strike again. I bet. Have you heard Vince Magnata? Sounds familiar. You'd have to grab the runner's archive well to see if that guy means anything. Where are we? <laughs> Does it matter? We're, uh, we're, we're, at a, we're at a... That's like actually a very good question, Paul. That's a... <laughs> Never actually been there myself. That, that's actually very pertinent. Um, we are at a gathering of hackers. Oh. Where are okay. the hackers, plural? Okay. That I don't know. They have, on... not, they have not yet gathered. This is just one hacker who's here early. <laughs> That's all I can tell you, man. Wow. That's all I can tell you, man. All right, I'm going to see if I can maneuver in many different ways to my bathroom and back. I'll be back, hopefully. Right, left, left, right. Love from... Anachrony Station. Anachrony Station 2. I hope these are photographs of the developers because I'm gonna hunt them down. No, these are supposedly pictures of Christopher Walken, Marion, and David Patrick Kelly, but whatever. What? At least Which that one? one is. Oh, right. It's from Deer Hunter.
Wait, where did Paul go? He went to the bathroom. When? How? Just a oh. minute ago. <laughs> you don't listen to anything, Daniel. <laughs> I I'm zoning out. Yeah, you are. At this point, okay. Time... From here, yeah, we have to go back to the newsroom to go to the <laughs> internet. To go to the internet. That's the most 1996 thing you could say or do. Okay, now, where? Where's the internet? The desk, the desk right in front of us. The internet is right in front of us. <laughs> it's right next to the water cooler. The internet has been right in front maybe, of us maybe this it is the whole cooler. time. This one? Yes. Yes. Where? We're in. Maximal dynamics operating system. Exit cyberspace. Now we gotta find the web runner's well. I mean, was it the same in the US uh, uh, during the 90s in which you paid for the internet per minute? And then you had uh, cheaper rates after 10 p.m. Um, it depended on the service, but yes, it. it Web I think we did have yeah, that's the one. And of course, it needs a password, which is Slayer, huh? Ripper, Ripper, Slayer, Killer. Um, no, it's uh, in this case, it was what was written on the photo, which was Anachrony Station. How many with, with a with a space with or a, with a space, I guess. Jesus. But it was Anachrony Station too. Thank you, Jeffrey. And we have a slider puzzle. All right. No. Now, do you want to skip the slider puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> Are we no. halfway through the game yet? We're just about halfway through, yeah. yeah. Do I need to type arcade to skip the slider puzzle? No, if you want to skip it, type ZZ Top. Oh, good. I hate slider puzzles most of all. Slider puzzles are the worst. Yeah. There, there better be a big payoff for this. There won't be. Strengths include graphical user interface development in multi-dimensional hyperplanes and first-person post-arcade shooters. Handle, Churchill, Games Author, Hostage Golf, Slipstream, and Hip Hop Mafia. Left web runners after marriage to Joey Falconetti ended in divorce 15 years ago, and the latter was sentenced to prison. Burton Falconetti marriage ceremony of note. Due to you couldn't afford a v FMV it for this part? No. We need to find out if someone who worked on Reaper also worked on Phantasmagoria 2. Oh, it's the same thing? What? An extraordinary hacker and decker, but one known not to flaunt her cyberspace talents in a pretentious fashion. Handle, Disraeling, Games Author, Alien Mothers, Virtual Twister, and Beach Party. Alien Fire Mothers? Office. Graduate research thesis on the effects of extended decking brought her national acclaim in the cyberspace community. An enthusiastic gamer, she died under very mysterious circumstances. The Josie Dorset case is still unsolved to date. Josie Dorsey left behind an ex-husband and a teenage daughter. Okay. Who are these people? Are they the are they Ripper's uh, victims? Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. 
these are the, the uh, hackers. These are our suspects and also some of the victims. Suspects and victims, okay. Steve Blake is right. He's asking, are they just saying ra <laughs> random words now? The ultimate god game. Reputed to be the web runner's programmer extraordinaire. Expert in low-level supercomputer programming. Author of several controversial underground games that continue to draw a large health following. Following a personal religious conversion, Estevez became a senior programmer for Revelation Incorporated, where he is designing and writing a new line of religious interactive adventures. I'm gonna hunt down I think each they, they and every person had... who worked on this game. <laughs> the line item editor didn't seem to fit their budget. Joey Falcon Eddie, also known as Falcon Eddie. Eight Is he cross-eyed? Founding father, an angel, an ace cracker, a master of cyberspace. Handle, Beaverbrook. Games author, collateral damage 2020. Humvee, logic bomb, and dwarf toss. Left runners 15 Humvee, years ago when logic ball, dwarf toss. Degree. Conviction was overturned I'm losing my mind. when it was discovered that a police officer had falsified evidence leading to the conviction. The police officer suspected but never convicted of mishandling the evidence was Vincent Magnotta, a former web runner. More, like, more, more. Oh, oh that's it. Jimmy Jordan, five oh, yes, member, good. Oh, great. No significant strengths or specialties. Handle, Victoria. <laughs> Games author, no strengths or specialties. Caucus, most notable for the company she kept. Jordan engaged in lengthy multiplayer gaming sessions with Falcon Eddie, Magnon, and Burton. Played no role in the deadly events that tore the formidable trio apart. Left the runners due to unknown circumstances. Turn ons, long walks on the beach. Turn off, smokers, people who curse. <laughs> we got this another Magnata, one. Eight year member. Archangel, Ace Cracker, a master of cyberspace whose talents were exceeded only by Joey Falconetti. That's Walken, right? Sergio, yeah. Games That's Off, him from Deer, Deer Hunter. Hebrew Vice, Coppadelphia, and Pistol The train is a that information <laughs> shall be free by joining the data fascists at the Soho precinct of the United Police Forces. Explosive romantic triangle with members Claire Burton and Joey Falconetti. Culminated now we're getting somewhere. This is a... And the three of them leaving the web runners. More. Five one more, the, six more. Come on. One of the writers who worked on the screenplay also worked on the hit game, Sesame Street, Elmo's Number Journey. Sam Mendler. Oh my god, there's so really so many more. Many more, I was kidding. Design and applied gaming theory. Handle, Balfour, Games Author, Wolf Nation, Horror Busters, and President <laughs> Satan. Many I mean, they, they are just saying random Horror words. Busters, President no, Satan. I heard. Mendler followed up his smash hit with a highly controversial President Satan. Suddenly a target for an angry public and a hungry international media. Mendler left the web runners and retired. This is mind blowing. Years later, he opened a successful. Who approved this? Who approved this? Director of Quality Assurance, Scott D. Schust. ATM Machine just wrote Did the narrator just say Hebrew Vice? I think we found Daniel's new screen name. Yeah. <laughs> Another Ray one. Stein, two year member. No more as a plot writer than a decker. Strengths included character development, plot tree branching, and artificial personality construction. Handle, Salisbury. Games author, The Heat of Hate City, and Bloodnet 3000. Talented writer, designer, and game scenario builder. Left the web runners to pursue a career as a hypertext novelist. She authored three acclaimed interactive novels before taking a position at Canon as a senior editor. As long as we're getting, as long as okay, we're okay. like solving, oh, we're done. Thank God. Finally, we're back. Okay. Can I save? Okay, now we can. We can. Yes, disconnect from the internet. Hit the Please God. Key. The internet is complicated. I hate the internet.
Great game too. Okay, now I don't know what we do. Um... No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. We have to know what to do. Okay. Maybe there's a new location we should there's... visit. Perhaps. No. Same old locations. Let's look uh, at our inventory. Says... We have a data says... disk. Go back to the world map and then go back to the newsroom, it says. I don't know why. Incoming WAC transmission. Oh, huh. we've got mail. Mr. Quinlan, this is Stephanie Jordan. I was a member of the Web Runners with Claire, Eddie, and Magnata. Professor Beck emailed me, told me you were asking questions about the Ripper. You know something about it? I'm in terrible danger. Meet me at the Web Runners loft. Hurry. There's something in cyberspace I want to show you. If I can find it, it will change everything you know about the Ripper. Hurry! She's gonna show him conversations with Curtis. He'll be dead soon. Change everything. Um, bad weather had closed the skyways, forcing me oh, to find Oh, there's someone over to the left, left there. It took me over two hours to get there. By the time I arrived at the Web Runner's loft, I was too late. The Ripper had struck again. Jordan was dead. And Magnata had her body removed. God took the body. God, I was a terrible man. I was all decked in. Man. And I was doing the OK Corral. And I was shooting the hell out of the Clintons. And I felt all of this. That stuff hit me. And, dude, I'm not even thinking about it. Because I figure it's Doc Holiday blowing Frank McClowry open. And shooting Morgan, so I know something's wrong. So I... What? I, I pause the program and take my goggles off. And she was just there, dude. Let this be a lesson to all of you VR folks. With her folks. eyes open and looking at me. And fuck, I didn't do this shit, man. I didn't even see anybody leaving. Look at me. No, 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 you take it easy, Calgary. Here, don't touch me, don't. <laughs> it's all gonna be over. Incoming, select transmission. Too late, Quillen. I never thought I'd see you miss a story. Why'd you remove the body from the scene, Magnata? You know, I'm getting tired of answering to you. I'm in charge of this investigation. I'm in charge. The public has the right to know what happened in there. Not if I don't think so. Maybe I'll leak some information I just found. Interesting stuff. It seems like you were the last person Jordan contacted before she died. How now, Jordan? Could really make you wonder. Boy. So, where are the police? Why is there... Uh, why is she still standing there? The body's been removed. She's not been cleaned up. Are these dumb questions to ask? Why are we still playing this? Okay. The game that keeps Man. giving. It was so gross what he did to her. So Don't wash your face. You're good. So, okay. Okay, let's... I need I need some, some clarification here. <laughs> did she... She shot and killed the gal because she thought oh, somebody she was... took the picture. Yeah. Okay, stop no, no, playing no, the, the game and answer questions. I, I need <laughs> I need to talk I need to talk some stuff out here. She was playing a shoot 'em game, shooting like at the OK Corral. Yeah. And yeah. she ended up shooting the gal that originally reached out to us saying I'm in danger. Is oh, that no, no, what no. happened? The, the, the Ripper got to her. Ripper somehow. got to her. So yeah. the Ripper killed her while she was just playing a game, and then yeah. she, and then she took off her goggles. But then, what was her whole story about why she was shooting Doc? You know, just because she's rambling. She's just rambling. So it has nothing to do. She just was standing there playing a game while her friend was being murdered by yes. the Ripper. And then we show up, and these guys have already removed the body. But left her to stand there in the blood in her bloodiness, just rambling. Yes. That, are we all caught up now? Is that it? Yep, you got it. 
Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you. Does it help you? Does it make any sense, Paul? Okay, mm -hmm. these are two people that I can't interact with for some reason. They're just standing here. You have my, to wander around yeah, and find them. My from guess a different is angle. that I have to. By the way, they even. They didn't even bother with the chroma key on her. See, she's She's very... all blurry for some reason, yeah. I don't know. Okay, what we do now is we go back to the hospital morgue. But we can't talk to those two people that are there? Nope. Nope. Why were they there? I don't know. And, just, to add, were... just to add, uh, add set dressing, you know? They were actors that they hired, and then they just... That's just nuts. This is... Man, Phantasmagoria 2 was an amazing game compared exactly. to this. Exactly. Now I'm starting to understand. I mean, just think, people played this game back in February 1996, and then they got the masterpiece that is Phantasmagoria 2. No, they never Nine got months the later. No one bought it. No one bought it. <laughs> Are you inserting the disc? Yeah. I bought it. You bought it. Thank goodness. But you bought it oh, oh, many oh, oh, years oh, later. Oh, oh, oh. I am um, in my interview with Steve Conrad, who is the first Sierra developer that I interviewed. Um, he told me that the developers at Sierra got royalties for Phantasmagoria. So actors didn't get royalties from the game, but the developers did. Oh, let's not mm. tell Tori that. I think it's the same for Phantasm Guru too, so. Well, in my case, I would have I would have lost money. The royalties were like negative. Where should I go? To the wards? To the morgue. Man, guys, you got us and, so close to our goal. And then Salves, he says that's there. so messed up, Daniel. Well, well I, I think that you should watch my interview with Steve Conrad. There were a lot of messed up things at Sierra. Like, really messed up. We're going to talk to Dr. Marion? No, it's Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob. From Phantasmagoria 2. Okay. Where's Stephanie Jordan? Okay. Where is Stephanie Jordan's body? Well, this guy. Yeah, I, do, he's I don't act up a storm here. She was the Ripper's latest victim. Was he they in one of the American Pie that's movies? That's true, but I I don't know. That's why I, I made that Stephanie. joke last week. Was, Did uh, you? Said he was I'm Jason sure there's Biggs information from pertaining to her on that computer, but it hasn't worked since I arrived. She's I must have home. subliminally heard it. With it Otherwise, I... as you can see, I've. I've removed the access panel. RWT so joined the chat. Greetings out. from Shanghai at 4.23 a.m. local time. Hey, welcome, place. RWT. If you can help me get the computer running, I'll see if I can help you. But that, that's as far as my involvement goes. I can't, I can't afford to lose this job. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. <laughs> my boss finds out you're back. I'll be fired now. Get out. Hot, perfect. That was great. That was exactly what we wanted. Right there. Oh okay, man. We gotta, right. we gotta fix this computer now. No, I will not fix your computer. Um. Oh, you're gonna have but to. But we fix must. My website when we're done. Wait. Here. Where is where is this computer? Uh, turn back to the right. And again. Again. I think that's it. I think the thing is right in front of us is the yeah. Hey, thank you, 2-Bit Writer. Appreciate that. Okay, this is, I think, the worst puzzle in the game. No, 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 no. What do you mean uh, worst puzzle? Every puzzle has been the worst puzzle so far. Well, that means that then he's right. Then he's right. Okay. Um, you're, you're looking at the walkthrough right now. Let me know yes, if I it's am. longer than five paragraphs, the solution. Yes. Really? Well, it depends on what you count as a paragraph, but yes. Okay. I'm invested. 
Okay, do you want us to try to solve this legit, or do you no, want me to solve No, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, starting from the top, the top row, uh, yep. look for the chip that says XDD37916. XDD3, XDD3, 7916, okay. That's the one. Okay. The second one is XD77. Mm-hmm. 3966. 3966. Okay, got it. Next. Okay, row two. XDD7 3912. 3912 EP or 3912 PE? Uh, uh, 32 Pete. Pete 9RJ? Uh, yes. I hate okay. them so much. Okay, next. Then number two, XD77. Mm hmm. Uh, 3956. 3956, yeah. PEET. PEET -E or PEET? Daniel, why didn't you decide, Daniel, -E -E decide to, uh, to try this on your, your own? 9RJ. B E okay. That one. Are, are are you serious, Paul? Wait, no. I can't place it. Is Wait, this the second it. one? X D seven seven three nine five nine P E E T. Okay, let me let me start over. Uh, X D seven seven. Yeah. Three nine five six. Three nine five six. Okay. Three nine five six. P E E T. Okay. Nine R J. Guys, that's okay. Uh, um, XDD3. Okay. 7916. PETE. 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 7916. PETE. Okay. Okay, next. Wait. That one's not right. It's a uh, Okay, what's the third one? Look look go to the go to the bottom right. Okay. This one? Next one up. Next one up. This one? That one. Okay. Yes. Next one. Let's see. It might be easier if I just tell you which one uh, which yeah, one it is. Let's do that. On the on the right. Let me let me, let me see number 4 here. Um Good X, Lord. XD77 Three nine five nine. Three nine five nine. P E E T. P P E E T nine R J. This one. Yeah. Okay. X D D seven. Want to go back into the woods? You know what? Let's let's read them backwards from the from the end. Uh, you know what it is? Go move your mouse cursor up. Yeah, this one. That one. Yeah. Okay. Good lord, this puzzle. Read them backwards. It's easier. Okay. Uh, row three. One eight J. One eight J. Okay. Next. Let me make sure that's right. Uh, it is. No, there's another like one. Garrett ask if there's a uh, XDD seven three nine one two EP. E yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Nine. So there's there's several nine RJs. So we got. Oh, I got to go from the beginning. Now let's just take those two electrode clips and put them to our brain and. and XD seven seven three nine five nine. XD seven seven three nine five nine. XD seven seven three nine five nine. KO. KO. Nine RJ. Uh, go up that one. This one. No. Go up. Yeah. That. You know, maybe. Oh, now it's all making so much sense. I get it now. Once, once we assemble this circuit, then we'll find out that these are the electrodes that they connect to Curtis's brain in the intro for Phantasm of Glory Two. XTD Seven. Can you move that um, one in the top, the very top right? Can you this move one. it so I can see it? Because the the zoom call is in the way. Yeah. This one. No, 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 no. no. Just move it so I can see it. Okay. Okay. 
three XDD seven three nine one two PET nine RJ. Uh, that one that your Mars cursor is right on. D seven seven three nine five six P E L T P E L T on the very very this bottom one? this one yeah center yeah yeah this is like if you're cheating on a test and, and you and it's harder to, to cheat it's cheating on... on a chemistry test yeah <laughs> if Quinlan if Quinlan says got it at the end of this puzzle I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> XDD three seven nine one six Pete uh, bottom left. Whoa! Get some sounds. Something happened. Something, Something happened. Something happening. We're getting there. XDD three seven nine one six uh, E P E R. Okay, uh, the top right. XD seven seven three nine five nine. Uh, bottom left. Ooh, we're getting I think closer. we're getting a, a sound whenever we complete a, a row. Uh, okay, the the bottom one, the very bottom one. Okay, this one. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys ready? And then that one. To see if Gwendolyn will say "got it." I think. There it goes. Nice <laughs> job. It's working. <laughs> That's all he had to do was just a couple of <laughs> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> That's strange. It says here that Jordan's body is in the animal storage room. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. They just store monkeys down there for use in experiments. Why would she be there? Where Where is this storage area? Oh, you just go through the door in the back of the morgue. <laughs> Mr. Quinlan, please leave before you get me fired. Through the back door, you say, right? Please, Mr. Quinlan, just, just, just leave me alone. As far as I'm concerned, I I, I, I never saw you. You're so good at getting information, Quinlan. You, you, God damn all you. of us can't that help charisma. You. Dang it, I forgot. Oh, you got me again. Damn you and your verbal chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what? Now we got to find Roberta, the door that was thank talking you. about the door that was in the back of the morgue that he was bourbon, talking about. Bourbon, books and bourbon. But where that door is, I don't know. We're looking for the door for what? The door in the back of the morgue that he was just talking about, the one that he wasn't supposed to mention. Okay, so this is the back of the morgue. This is the exit. He said, "Go out." I think we have to go out the exit, don't we? No, no, no. There's a there's no? a like a secret door or something like that. Oh, okay, know. make a right then. A secret or door. Robot. We can barely find the actual doors. Okay. Try on the turn left. Yeah. That might be it. Yeah. Um, that, that's something That's so about stealthy. That. Oh, save. Yeah. <laughs> it's stealthy because you can't get there even if you see it. I don't want to solve that puzzle again. <laughs> oh, right. God. Oh my god, they filmed actual monkeys. No, they didn't. Did they? Yeah, they did. They did. That's oh, not wow. CGI. Could be stock footage monkeys. Nah. Stock footage monkeys with a... Uh, on a blue screen? Now we gotta get Pila involved. Shut this game down. Okay, I'm in a cage. Turn, turn back around. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta try to try to open the door that was in front of you. Turn around. Oh, so should I enter the cage and then open the door? Yeah. Why didn't you try doing that the first time? Because uh, the, the door is the not right. clickable. Oh, okay. Oh. Damn. Voice lock. How am I supposed to get by this thing? Probably by solving a weird puzzle. That's my guess. 
see what we have in our inventory. Scan card, data disk, use, nope, use, nope, use, nope. Okay. okay, now we I'm have to go to ideas. soaps. We have to go to soap smoke shop. <laughs> we wait. We we well, we had to go into this room before so we could go to soaks. Well, we had to find out there was a voice lock. Okay, we had to so find. We can ask about the voice lock. This How do we know it's a voice now. lock? Because he said because so. he said it was. <laughs> no. Oh, when he went. Oh, damn! That guy said that. Yeah. Well, okay. That guy. What's his name? Quinlan. Hey, Quinlan. I hope everything's all right with Catherine. What do you know about the web runners? Oh, I, that's way before my time. All I know is it got something to do with kids on the cutting edge having fun. The guy you really need to talk to is Gambit Nelson, an old gamer, a sea space entrepreneur. He's been around for years and years. Been known to throw down a few at the Cafe Duchamp. To shop. You shall. Oh, correct, Mike. You know anything about voice locks? <laughs> you mean you don't? Man, where you been? They're basically all the same, but if you're trying to bust into one, all you gotta do is get a sound sample of the owner's voice saying, It's me. Open up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> got those reporter's instincts working, huh, Quinlan? Hot on the trail. <laughs> okay. Right. Can we pick anything up? Now what? No. Nope. Now we go to the newsroom. Of course we do. By the way, now I understand why there's no speedrun of this game. And yet, we're going to still um, submit our eight-hour playthrough of the game yeah. as the speedrun. Who do you submit this to? Who, who's the who's the authority on this? Uh, who, who gives you permission? Com. Really? Yeah, that's where I submit my speedruns, and then someone looks over my speedrun to see if I'm not cheating, and then approves it. Okay. That was kind of shady. Okay, now what? And you go to the newsroom, and we got to talk to Ossie Davis. I <laughs> see Daniel just shaking his head. Mother. I bet the developers are watching this live stream and laughing their asses off. Oh no! We crash? Thank God. Wait, when did we save? We saved just before the voice lock. So we don't have that far to go back. Restore previously aborted game? Yes. What? This is oh, where we, we got, it, it saved uh, just before we got here. Okay, so yeah, go ahead, save. Wait, let's see. If we're where we're supposed to be, okay. Okay. Wait, ass computer. Okay, now what? Uh, look to the right. We gotta talk to Aussie Davis. Aussie. Hey, Quinlan. You still working on this story? Yeah, I guess we are. Sorry. Okay, I guess that's uh that's all we had to do. Um, that's you, that's it. That's all we had to do. You should have asked go, us. Are we still playing this game? Go back to the internet. Just a sec. Let me hook up my modem. Dynamics operating system. 
And from here, we have to go to the virtual library. Exit cyberspace. This game is driving you guys nuts, I can see it. <laughs> it's insane. No, this game is awesome. I mean, when you watch a David Lynch movie, then you don't understand anything, and then Web you start Archive. reading online about wait, what wait, was wait, going wait, wait. on. Why would, it, why would it do that? Wait, so there aren't, there isn't a virtual library? It should have stopped at the virtual library. Virtual Herald. And where was that? On the left? Yeah. Web Runners Archive. Ooh. It should have stopped right there. Maybe. Are we sure that um, the save game that he Exit loaded space. for us after the game crashed is the correct one and that we progressed? Wait. Where? Let's go to... S So every time you went back to a earlier uh, location, you'd have to change the disk back to an earlier disk, and then. Look, you need to you but, need to understand that back in the day, this wasn't that bad because we were accustomed to having floppy disks, and for example. Monkey Island 2, the Amiga version, was on 12 floppy disks, so you had to switch around floppy disks like every every time you went to a different island, and several times on certain islands. So, but does it? Yeah. How does a disk know that you've unlocked something when you go back to it? I mean, it, that 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 confuses me. Like you can't get to it the first time. Reporter's yeah. instincts working on Quinlan. Hot on the trail. Okay, so we've done all we can over here. So the save game was okay. Uh, so I'm a little stuck now. Um... Hmm. Go to the the gym, I guess. The yeah, let's gym. go talk to Karen Allen. Maybe she's done with her workout. No. <laughs> Who's that? Swift Falcon, thank you very much. Dang, you guys are getting us so close. Is it? it it's uh. If you've just come to Gawk, I'm gonna have to give you the boot. Gawk and boot. Is she yeah. still working out? Man. He's talking like she's from the 90s. He's doing a triathlon by this point. So you used to be married to Eddie. I mean, somehow I can't picture you two together. Took you long enough, Quinlan. Biggest mistake of my life. How long did it take to figure that out? About five minutes. Six months for the lawyers. Fifteen years to forget. So you were a web runner? They, they crank up the music on all ago, the dialogue. When I was a kid. So that's all it was, kid stuff. Trying to hide the bad dialogue. Actually, it was exciting. I learned more about cyberspace there than I did in school. Thank you, Ozzy. But basically, it was all about games. <laughs> and I grew up. So you and Eddie were friends with Magnata. Friends is pushing it. Look, I would appreciate an honest response. I know that you were all members of this Web Runners thing. What are all three of you hiding? What makes you think we're hiding anything? Oh. Three people involved in a murder case all just happened to hang out together 15 years ago? Stranger things have happened. Right. Thank you, Red. Ask Parker. about the crystal skull. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> The Ripper is killed again. That's a line I've heard often enough. 
Stephanie Jordan. <laughs> That's a line I've heard often enough because we had 10 takes Stephanie for this Jordan. scene. Same as the others? Yeah. Wait, did you see Dial of Destiny, Noah? Yes, I did. Okay. It was okay. It was better than Crystal Skull. It was better than Ripper. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd have to think about that one. Dr. Burton, you're gonna have to open up about don't, the Don't, Dr. Burton, me. I'm not going to open up to you. This is ridiculous and I don't have the time. Come on, just one quote. What's that? Attribution. Whatever I give it looks you, like a cigarette case. It's off the record. Oh, is that his like recording device? Is that like him his way to I, record? I think that was supposed to be a recording device, yeah. <laughs> but it looks like just something you carry like Tic Tacs in. <laughs> it was a makeup mirror. Oh my gosh. I know about Magnata breaking up your wedding. Hard to believe, isn't it? Charming guy like him. Hard to believe he has a heart. Hard to believe you all agreed to be part of He's really of giving her the googly eyes, isn't he? He's like, a, he's being a little bedroom eyesy with her. He became obsessed with me and Joey. That obsession Hi, ruined our lives. Now it might kill us all. Want to take off? And more Hello. gaming, welcome. Yeah, yeah, he said, oh man, what a great coincidence. Was just playing some Ripper and hell the cyberpunk thriller. And apparently... Like you can the... play both those? I mean, this one takes up so much. I, I guess you could go back and, and he, forth. He mentioning this... the, the hell the cyberpunk thriller is another game you know, that I... a lot of the people who worked on this game worked on that game. You know, so I've never my... played hell. I've never played that game. Well, maybe uh, none of us have played it. Maybe that's worth uh, putting on our list. Boy, the way we're going, though, we're going to be going into 2026. We'll get three games in. And we've we're made good progress today. We've made uh, we gotten through a lot of shitty puzzles. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we're going to we get did. to the actual year the game is supposed to be set in, like 2041. <laughs> I wish you'd ask all of your questions at once, Quinlan. I'm trying to get a workout in. I wish you'd ask all of your questions for at once. Three weeks. Quinlan. I'm trying to get a workout. I mean, she's not even sweating. She's been walking for like five hours. Dang. Okay, now maybe try the library. Now I'm going to read some stuff. Boulder Punch mentioned this stream in their recent The Thing video. Gosh, I wish I knew. Wow, I hell is rough compared to Ripper. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> rough, man. Really? And this is the easy mode. Remember, we had in the settings screen, we had the difficulty this, set to easy. This is, this oh, is yeah. the easy mode. So I, I don't, I don't understand any of the dynamics. I don't understand. I want to pause for a second. Next Let's pause. It's the perfect pause moment. Okay. Can you just stop the sound. Yeah. Boom. Okay. What's going on? There's a guy who's killing people. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Ripper. Mm -hmm. There's a reporter who's trying to get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. He's talking to a bunch of people. We think the cop is in on it he was part of a web he was he was part of a web hacker congregate of people yes and his the gal that uh karen allen was his ex-wife we just found that out was she part of the hacker group too yes she was also part of the hacker group she's now a a morgue doctor or she works in the morgue or something like that she's a she's basically a neurosurgeon she's a neurosurgeon who who i don't know why she was in the morgue that day but now she's working out a lot and do we have any those are the most clues we've gotten we've gotten some yeah. clues right anything else that's about it <laughs> That's the, it. We, we How got many hours have we played? We played six hours so far, and that's all we know. We've got Burgess Meredith was working on some kind of virtual white chapel. Okay. 
from England, which was uh, tied to Jack the Ripper. We don't know why. And that's about it. Yeah. That's about it. And we're in the future. And recording devices look like Tic Tac tins. Yep. You got it. All right. I'm all caught up. Thank you. I was just a little little confused, but now I feel way better about moving forward in this in this game. All right. Let's go. Well, we have it's we have 10 minutes before we're kind of done. So let's uh and then we're gonna do guys, if you I hate to be this guy, but if we're pretty close to getting to our goal. Wait, and before, if we do before you're this guy, I want to check if we had oh we might have because chats. uh the, the super chat may have taken us over. And if so, we'll have a wheel of Curtis and we'll give away some some fun adventure games for all of your support um we're not done yet we'll play a little more but we're getting near the we're getting near we're getting near <laughs> if it helps i think we're past the worst of the puzzles i think that one with the chips the computer chips was by far the worst okay let's talk about that for a second um you just rightfully so we just went straight to the answers but i i tell me what again i'm playing this game by myself i'm i'm in the oh, thick of it i want to know what the game like what what was it i does, it does give us the answers to that one okay well what was the what was the point of that puzzle and and how would i have solved it on my own uh the what happens is in the computer shop there's a book that talks about how to fix that type of computer uh and it tells us it tells us how to organize the chips in a certain way, depending at like. Uh, uh, and is it uh, through the num the numbers that are yes. on there? Okay, yeah, it's something a, like that. It's a number puzzle. All right, okay, well that helps. But it's a very very complex. There's a lot of there, there's a lot to it that it takes a long time to solve it straight up. Okay. Um, can be done, but uh, that one is it, it's it's not obscure, but it just takes a long time. Okay, so gotcha. we've got one super chat for twenty dollars, so it's not getting us past the goal. All right, we need what, $10. what do we need? We need ten bucks to get to our goal. Um, so let's play a little bit more, and uh, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at. Um, Dragon's Lair Productions writes, "Don't you have to arrange them based on the Bible verses of the Ten Commandments?" That I don't remember. I don't think so, but. Uh... I couldn't tell if he was joking or not. Um, Soylent Pink asks, have we heard the game, have you all heard of the game Burn okay, Cycle? Like Steve, $30, we can stop playing. We can stop playing. <laughs> now we can keep playing. Let's, let's play this a little bit more. Okay, try this. Try going to the, um, Thank go, you, to your whack -ass com go to Thank your you, whack-ass computer on the top of the screen. Wet-ass computer. And try going to sound sample. Don't, Dr. Burton, me. And I'm not going to open up to you. This is ridiculous. And I don't have the time. Oh, we're going to do some uh, sound mixing? Is that the actual... Is that a made-up uh, sound? Or is that the, her actual... No, it's. Oh, I don't, it was I don't from know. the scene. That's exactly... I know, but I'm just wondering if they just put up a little... I'm not going to open uh, up to you. This is ridiculous. And I no, don't have not. the time. It's not. It's not her actual uh, okay. wave. Okay. Now wave. that we have that, now what? Seems like they could have done okay, that. Okay, we, we're supposed to have some kind of editing software that can edit the sound file. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is this. I like this stuff. Dear Diary, really? Was that just? Oh, you're you're goofing around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the game is stuck. Um, try going. Try going to the internet one more time. Uh, there's, there's got to be some way to get to the how to edit the freaking file. Exit cyberspace. Every time. I mean, let's Burn get the actor. Let's get the actor who played Quinlan. 
and we'll disguise ourselves as if we're not a retro game channel. I would love to talk to him, actually. I think, yeah, I mean, I, and, I wonder if he'd be we'll, open to it. we'll tell him that we're gonna interview him about his time on Gilmer G- Girls because we're big fans. And then, nah. as soon as the interview starts, we're gonna nah. blaster the game onto the Zoom meeting and play it all the way through and ask him yeah. questions about it. That'd be like, uh, Clockwork Orange will pin his eyes back so he has to play. Okay, now what? Now what? Webrunner's Archive. There's got to be a way to get to the library. There's got to be. Donde esta la biblioteca? Ah, uh, why does it stop? Don't they have stuff? <laughs> okay. Jwex writes, I want to tell Scott Cohen I love him in Tenth Kingdom and I love Spoonie for introducing me to it. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do now. I'm stuck. Um... Well, this seems like the perfect time then to to regroup. We had a good run. We had a good run. (laughs) Let me uh, read some of our... So now, as Daniel is going to put together our Wheel of Curtis... Repos. Okay, so first of all... uh, Comments. Before you read today's, I'm going to read the the one super chat because you, you won't have it in the coffee list. So the one super chat is from Red Falcon 696 He donated $20 and said, Thank you, Paul, Daniel, and Noah for all that you do. You all have wonderful chemistry together, and I hope that you all will catch the Ripper. We won't because the game never ends and have more FMV adventures in the future. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Well, it seems like there's there's plenty more to be had. Thank you very much for that uh, donation mm-hmm. and for the kind words. All right. Uh, We're getting there. Good. Um, all right. Briarwood was our first donor today. He gave us five dollars. Thank you, Briarwood. He wrote, "I have watched Noah play Phantas two way back in the day. Seeing him back at Ripper." With the Curtis has been a lot of fun. I wish everyone here the best, but especially Noah, and of course, a lot of fun with this game. Thank you very much for that. All Thank right, you. let's see. Yeah. Uh, Briar, that's and Yeshu gave us $20. Thank you so much, Yeshu. You guys think that adventure games will ever re enter the mainstream or will stay a niche genre? What do you think, hmm. Noah? Um, I wouldn't say they've gone away. Uh, they're certainly not, I, I wouldn't say like totally mainstream, but I don't think they've ever really gone away. Um, uh, I guess the answer is yes. I think they'll, I think there's going to be some, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Um, well, I, I think it would be, I, I, th- I don't know. It feels to me that, you know, the scope of Ripper, the scope of Phantasmagorias and those things. I think if someone came along and really tried to make a true classic FMV game the way with all the technology that we have now, like the ones that we're watching, which are really great, like Contradiction and... and uh, yeah, so I was going to bring that up. You know, and uh, what was it? Not for broadcast. There's some great stuff out there, but they're not... They're really, really unique and clever, but I think there's a real opportunity to do a classic FMV game like this with a pretty decent budget. Um, and I think there's enough people that would actually get into it if it was done right. I yeah. don't know if it'll ever happen, but I, I, I think I think you were right on the bunny with contradictions. Um uh I, I, I don't think it's quite mainstream, it's not quite there yet, but I think there's potential there that could that that's something that's that's very movie like, that's something very much like this, but modern. Mm-hmm. Could come out. I think that's possible. Yeah. Mort no, Murphy. Gave Ron, us a 50. Ron, oh, Ron Gilbert said that the problem with uh, adventure games it's that the the audience um, never grows according to the number of actual computer game players. So the number of players of adventure games has been consistent through the years, but doesn't grow exponentially like whenever a casual game yeah. is released. Hey Daniel, why don't you switch the the scene so we're not oh. just looking at the at the game? Um, 
Mort Murphy gave us $50. Thank you so much, Mort. Uh, I just you. wanted to take the opportunity to thank you guys for the content. I've been a Spoonie fan for years, and it is surreal to see you guys play this together. Isn't that? It's true, isn't it? I'm very happy to have found this channel, and we're glad you found us, too. Thanks, Mort. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Kevin from TV. Years of laughs and smiles. Much love to you all. Thanks, bud. Uh, Kevin gave us $30, another really generous gift. Steve Blake gave us $30, wrote, you guys are a great start to my weekend. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Fun. You guys are awesome. Um, the Swift Falcon writes, you guys are all great. Spoonie, so happy to have you back. You remain the best let's player as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for all the laughs. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. That's $5. YT Wanderer, one of our, our stalwarts. Gave us $20. Happy birthday, Daniel. P.S. Don't be too tough on Paul for forgetting about it again. For three years in a row. <laughs> I'm like that. You're like the old guy in, uh, in uh, again. the first Monkey Island. Again. You should get him. Thanks, YT Wander. I thought I got him off of it. He's, you just you brought it back. I, I thought we uh, he's he immediately came back. Um, Jeffrey gave us $10. Paul and Daniel, love you guys. Spoonie. I'm a longtime fan and absolutely love the, your Ripper Riff series. You mentioned that you beat this game without a walkthrough as a kid. Are you holding back a little now to give Daniel and Paul a chance to solve the puzzles? No, not oh. anymore. <laughs> we, we gave up on that beginning this today's stream. We just went uh, straight to the walkthrough. Yes, we did. Uh, Two Bit Rider gave us five dollars. Uh, my favorite trio on YouTube. Thanks for continually providing great content. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah. Books and Bourbon gave us $10. Happy Friday, guys. Just curious if any of you happen to be Joe Bob Briggs fans. He showed Legend of Boggy Creek a while ago, and I almost fell out of my chair when I recognized the Travis Crabtree song from one of Spoonie's videos. Oh, that. Oh, that's a that's a deep cut. That's a deep reference to my um one of my videos. I had a guy named Travis Crabtree who was there, there's a, there's a movie called The Legend of Boggy Creek, which is about Bigfoot. Yeah, I think I've heard, I don't know if I ever saw it, but I remember that title. And there's a character named title. Travis Crabtree in that movie, and for some reason, he has like a little ballad. Oh yeah, and his soundtrack. It's like, hey, Travis Crabtree, spend a moment with me. And so somebody just put that in there. In their... Yeah, so I put it in my video. I put a I put a Travis Crabtree reference. It's a very very deep cut <laughs> oh that's great that's great swift count falcon gave us another donation of ten dollars saying thanks for the computer repair lesson uh and then uh it's all you got to do ozzy uh, gave us five dollars ozzy astaroth and he wrote you have to go forwards to go back up is down left is right and short is long absolutely and then joex you came in strong at the very end thank you very much for that 30 dollars donation to get us over the top and I think it was a donation without a uh, a message. So no, at the moment we got from me a pickle, um, five Canadian dollars. Spoonie's big return to refuse should include his own FMV game like the one at the end of his Phantasm Glory Two video. Paul and Dan can help. Yeah, let's do an FMV game, all three of us. Sounds good. All right, we got this. We got it up. How many okay. are we giving away today? The rap three, three games three games all right and if you guys win just hop on our discord server discord.conversationswithcurse.com and dm me and i'll send you the list of games and you can choose one of the games yeah and that's it so join our discord because it's practically impossible to find your emails yeah and in general join our discord if you haven't yet it's a really fun group and people are uh have a there's some great conversations and and if you like adventure games that's the place to kind of to go and, and and chat about it so and, and thank you everyone for the birthday wishes in the chat and paul not thank you for not <laughs> no, how long okay. all right he'll get over it he'll get over it 
Just not today. You have to. Ne next year, I expect you to come to Israel and wish me a happy birthday in person. Well, I want to wish Jeffrey a congratulations for being the first uh, winner of today's World Curse. Well, thank you, Jeffrey. Let Daniel know what you need on what you want on the Discord server. Here we go. What if it's Jeffrey again? Uh, coffee, Red Falcon, Mirko Bond. Oh, it might be Zwex. It's going to be Zwex. Yeah, nice. That was close. That was super close. All right, last one. Gets you a little dizzy. It's almost as it makes me almost as dizzy as the game does. Steve Blake. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be Kevin, Kevin from TV. From TV. Oh, is it? Is it? Yes. Yep. Nice. Congratulations, guys, and thank you all so much for getting us to our goal this week. It means a lot. It helps us uh, set aside time during our week. Uh, away from our other jobs to be able to do this with you guys. It really means a lot. So appreciate it. Uh, Noah, thanks for uh, for guiding us today. Really appreciate that. Live to serve you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay, stay cool and hydrated in your 120 degree heat. I hope, uh, hope it cools down some point for you. It's got to rain eventually, right? All right it's got to. Jeez. Um, and uh, Daniel, Please forgive me for my 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 trespasses against you. We'll talk later. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you all. Uh, I guess you'll see Daniel on Monday, right? You're doing a speed run? Yeah, I'm going to do a speed run on a Phantasm Guru 2 speed run on Monday. We're having a, we're premiering the Kyle Balda interview on Sunday, and... I'll probably do a Wednesday or maybe a Friday live stream. Um, so next week we won't have a Ripper live stream because Paul is too busy with his other job. Stupid job. That should be less yeah. important at this point yeah. in time. It's less important in my head. It's not less important in my in my pocketbook, unfortunately. So, yeah. Um, all right. Till then, have a good one, you guys, and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. bye. Till next time. Happy.